Fisting taken from Team Moon have 4,000 people landed Apollo 11 on the moon by Catherine Timish. We open with words from President Kennedy. I believe the nation should commit itself to achieving a goal before the decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. It was mind-boggling that te television itself had been a flat-out miracle, and now the technology wonders of wonder would very soon transit pictures of a man on the moon, as this is possible only through the blood, sweat, and tears of a number of people. All you see are the three of us, but beneath the surface are thousands of others. There were 7,500 of us. We designed, developed, and built the lunar module Kristen Eagle for Apollo 11 from the ground up. There was no such thing as a reign of failure. We eliminated them one by one. Our lives depended on it. It was our baby. It was our handiwork. It was eight years of our lives. And soon, very soon, it was going to land on a giant glowing ball in space. Space is, is dangerous out there. In designing to the command module, the one thing we need had to be sure of was that we could keep the crew alive. And we appreciate that. To help keep the crew alive required 14,000 other folks at North American Rockwell and HodgePodge of 8,000 other companies who worked on their command model itself. Could the command model keep the crew alive? It, I think that Perfectly good question. Launch operators at Kennedy Space Center in Florida was its own little town. There were 17,000 of us at the Kennedy Space Center, engineers, technicians, mechanics, contractors, and managers. All of us were needed to pull together a launch. Woo! <laughs> check, 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 test, act. The three rocket stage, roll it out, check it and recheck, fuel it, and ready it for liftoff. Woo! We even did a countdown, a demonstration test. We were ready. Woo! And then it was time, July 16, 1996. They were ready. We were ready. We were ready. We were ready. <laughs> the world watch was at 1932 a.m. 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. Apollo 11 rocketed, into the, rocketed to the moon after orbiting the Earth. When they got to the moon, they began circling and studying the moon for 11 revelations. On the 13th orbit, the Eagle unlocked from the Columba and prepared to descend to the lunar surface. The Eagle has weeks. Mission Control waited and watched them monitor the controls. You are go for PD. That means power descent integration. The 12 minutes the astronaut would be at the surface of the moon. Oh no, suddenly alarms raised. <clears throat> Bam, we're told it's a 12 o'clock to a side, which means trouble. We have a problem. What is it? Do we land? Do we abort? Are we in danger? Are we going to blow up? Tell us what to do. Challenge number one. Suddenly the people at Mission Control went into a flurry of activity. Searching, sifting, sorting, plucking, juggling, judging. And finally, they were told to go ahead with the landing. We are go on the alarm. The alarm sounded again. Challenge number two. They were almost out of fuel. It's taking too long to land. We held our breaths. Click, the astronaut has landed on the moon. Woo! <laughs> Challenge number three, temperature in the field line started to rise. From table to table, rushing telephone styling, telephone dream. 
suddenly through just as the produce was about to be relied to solve the problem, temperature dropped and it stayed down and frozen slug had melted. Woo! <laughs> the <laughs> end. It was, it was finally time to walk on the moon. Roughly 500 people worked on the space suit alone to make the, that possible. And just what would happen when Niall Armstrong, the commander, put his feet on the surface of the moon. Nevertheless, the time had come for him to take his first step on the moon. That one small step for man on one giant leap for mankind. And the whole world went, woo! The end. <laughs>